can get on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. So I can actually work on it right here like this if I prefer. I can um, I can write right on this. like so. If you're doing so, I suggest you go to the bottom left hand corner, touch on the words palm pad, and what you get is a wrist guard that you can you can customize, you can move it wherever you want or you can get it out of the way. That's so that you avoid uh, smudge marks on the bottom. Now I'm standing behind a camera so my wrist is not going to touch it. It also makes for pretty messy writing, but <laughs> excuse that. But you can, when you're sitting in a chair and you're taking notes on an iPad, there is no way if you only have one edit screen that you can um, keep smudges from, you can't keep your wrist from hitting the bottom of your iPad, not and be comfortable anyhow. So a wrist guard is Essential and, and Viatron built in a really, really nice one. But what I like to do is I like to work in what's called close-up view. And if I touch my finger anywhere on the screen, what this is going to do is going to give me a gray box, which I can move around to wherever I like, and a screen that's in front. And what happens is, is if, if I write, now I'm writing the same exact size that I just did on the full screen, I'm not adapting it at all, okay? And I tap outside of this box to get back to the screen. Look at the difference in the size. It has taken it and shrunk it down to exactly what it would be on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So it's more natural looking. I get a heck of a lot more notes on a page and it's just more functional for me. Now, I don't normally work in this view what I normally do is I use the universal pinch gesture and I open this up like so. Okay, now if I write, on the screen. You can see it's a little bit smaller because I'm working on a bigger tablet now. It's still eight and a half by 11, but I have the whole screen to work instead of just that three quarters of a screen. But even with that, I still like to use the close-up view, do it the same way, so using the same stroke. I haven't changed anything. I haven't changed that I'm, you know, the size. The size that I'm writing is still the same. Again, I touch anywhere outside of this big box. Um, you'll notice as I'm writing, this gray box is moving. It's showing me where I'm going to go next. So if I go like that, it, it moves it for me. Just something you need to get uh, used to as you're working with it. It's very simple. Again, I touch anywhere outside of the box and it takes me back to my full screen. And you can see that it again has shrunk to fit the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Now, have you ever taken notes and you go, oh crap, this doesn't really apply here, it really applies up here. And what you'll do is you'll write, you'll take arrows and say, you know, this, this needs to go up here or you erase it and you, and you rewrite it somewhere else in your notes. You don't have to do that with Notes, Pat, uh, notes Plus. Where do you see what you do? You're just going to circle and then you're going to say, I want it up here. You can move it wherever you would like on the page. And it moves it for you. Touch outside the box and it stays exactly where you put it the last time before you um, touch outside the box. You can Again, you can circle it again and move it again. But if you notice too, if you were observant, when I circled it, not only was I able to do that, but I was given two more options in this bar that's above what I circled. One says didn't mean to select. What happens when you touch on that is you're telling it I don't want to move it. I wanted to put that circle around there. I'm making a mind map or I just want to draw attention to that or whatever. So it will actually smooth out your hand-drawn object, your, your shape in this case it was an oval and it will put it around um, it will leave it like that. It will also allow you to drag on it in different ways. You can make it into a circle if you want. 
however you like to do it, it, it perfects it for you is what it does. It takes, it takes that ugly scrawled oval that you put around something and makes it into like as if you took a template out and you, you did a perfect oval around it. And again, when I touch outside the box, that's exactly um, what stays on your note. Now, if I go back and remind you how ugly it would have looked when I actually wrote it like that, um, if I do it again, I'll show you what the other one was. The other one says delete. When I touch it, it just it deletes what's ever in that circle, which makes it very simple. If you um, would, if you're in a hurry and you want to um, delete, you can also just cross it out and it's gone. Can you believe it? Is that fast? Is that simple? It's great. Anyhow, um, you can also undo it so it's back. We're going to scroll up here and remember I told you that you can add typing really easily. If I put two fingers in, what happens is it brings me up the integrated keyboard and it allows me to type my message here. Okay, again, okay, it's going to let me move it wherever I'd like. It, if I don't want to do that, It will leave it like that. It will allow me to do anything I do with handwriting I can do with, with typewriting. So if I want to highlight that, now this is going to become quicker with the new revision coming out by Viatron in the middle of the month. We're going to get some quick settings that allow us to highlight, get back to our pen color a little bit easier. Right now what you want to do is you want to go to the thickest um, pen stroke. You're going to back it down to about two-thirds of the way up the line in opacity and then you're going to pick whatever color it is that you want to highlight in. You come back out by just tapping on your pad and you just go like so and you can highlight. Very simple, very easy. If you didn't want that, again, all you're going to do is undo. Okay, um, I showed you shapes, you saw a circle, you can do a, a triangle, <laughs> I forgot to change back the color, hold on let me do that for you so you can see what I'm doing, sorry, we're going to go back to black, and get rid of that, if we do a triangle, you can see that it's auto detecting the shape is what it's doing and it allows you to change the shape, change the size, however you would like. You can use it and put it right on the line. Whatever you would like, it will do it. It not only works with triangles, you saw it work with circles. Now, I'm going to try a star. You have to be careful because you have to, eh, it doesn't want to do it. It'll do it if you get your lines to match at the end. Okay, if you closed up the, uh, the space, because I, I did do it, but I'm not going to take the time to, to, um, to do that here and uh, it gives you something to try. Now I can, I'm on page one of one of my note. I can change to another page by simply dragging up and I've, I've changed to another page. Uh, sorry about that. Oop, two fingers, not one. We're going to go like this, and we go to two of two. That was my fault last time. Um, the way that I normally do it, because once in a while I will do that and end up telling it to shut down, um, I will go, if you tap on here on the notes, you will see now I have two pages. If I edit, I can add pages right there. I can also move pages around. I can make, you know, I can just by, by, dragging my pages, I can change them to wherever I want. 
like so. I can delete a page Okay, now I'm back on my page and I'm telling it I'm done because I only have one page. Now, up here in the right-hand corner, you have some options. You can export to PDF. When you export to PDF, what happens is they go to the iTunes file share. So you go to your iTunes um, account, you go to apps, you find Notes Plus, and they will be in there. What I normally do is I email them to myself. You can also upload to Google Docs, which is great if you're a big fan of Google Docs and use that a lot. Um, Viatron is also negotiating with Evernote to be able to integrate Evernote uh, right into his application. For now, what I do is I email them uh, my PDFs to Evernote. I use my subject line to tell it what uh, notebook to put it in, what hashtags to give to it. Um, and I email it that way. Now, it's right now it will not upload the audio files, but it does upload um, all of the PDFs beautifully. I mean, I've printed them off and everything, and they come through very, very well. So um, you have that option. Again, it does have the microphone because I was flipping between pages and going in and out. It is shut off. What it's doing now is it is. Um, recording exactly but it is there so you have the the audio so there you have it this is oh one last thing I want to show you is okay I'm done with this I don't need it anymore I want to delete it or I you know I thought I was going to take notes this at the seminar and I did I ended up not taking them I don't want this for whatever reason I don't want this note anymore all you have to do is swipe on it like you do on an email um, in some applications it will bring up the delete just hit delete and it's gone but is it really gone nope you can go to your trash it will hold the last 20 um, deleted items in your trash you can take it you can tell it you're going to edit it you're going to restore it you tell you're done, go back to your notes, and it's back. So it's holding it in place for you. You don't have to worry about deleting a note um, and then going, oh, no, I need that back, I need that back. If it's within the last 20 notes that you've deleted, it's still there. So you can find it. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's it for today. That's uh, our full tutorial on notes plus if you have any questions any comments put them in the comment box at the bottom of the article uh, we'll get back to you on them this is Maggie B for apps for iPads see you on the website soon and talk to you tomorrow